Hey guys, in this video let's do the unboxing and review of uh, TechFile M11 wireless mouse and in the box we will get the wireless mouse and there is a USB dongle inside the mouse and a USB Type-A to Type-C short length uh, white color cable then there is a user manual. Now let's have a look on the design and overview of this wireless mouse. It's from the TechFile brand and uh, this product is a review unit and it actually priced around 800 rupees. Now firstly on the physical overview, this is the wireless mouse and it's a very compact and light in weight it easily covers into my palm itself in that way it's very compact now on the physical overview so you can see the left and right keys here and these keys are similar to the keypad keyboard keys and um, there is a central scroll key scroll wheeling key here and here is the dpa switch there is a three different modes 800 1200 and 1600 for general computing you can use the 800 dpa itself and in the top here is the led indicators so it's a wireless mouse so you can easily find out what is the battery uh, level here so here is you can see the 25 percent 50 75 and 100 totally four led indicators given and on the top here is a usb type c port using this you can easily charge this wireless mouse then this mouse has the transparent cover so as you look at this cover it's a transparent and at the back side so here is a mode switch so it has a rgb lighting so you can change into 11 different preset modes so by just a single pressing this mode switch you can switch over to the different uh, lighting pattern and also if you don't want this rgb lighting also you can turn it on or off uh, as per your preference by just a long pressing this mode switch for continuously you can turn off the rgb light and whenever you want you can again turn it on and here is a three different connection modes one is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless and then a bluetooth connection mode and then an off mode then in the back side for a mouse cover so here is a pad is actually designed i actually used this mouse without mouse pad itself directly in the table so it actually works out well with the help of this inbuilt uh, mouse pad cover then finally this uh, wireless mouse is the transparent in cover and also this cover is a uh, magnetically uh, attachable you can easily able to remove that so here it is so just uh, pull it from here so here it is you can easily open it like this and inside if you want to clean the mouse you can easily able to clean because in the mouse in the over the time we can able to see some dust or easily spread on the mouse so you can easily remove the cover and you can clean it and also it's a magnetic so you can see in all the corners there is a magnets are available so if again you can just fix it like this it will be automatically fixed and also it's magnetically strong then inside this mouse only you can you see this uh, 2.4 gigahertz usb dongle just to take this out for the connection now next uh, moving on to the connection so it has a dual connection mode one is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection if you are connecting in the pc means just to connect it with the, any usb port and then in the mouse just to change the switch to 2.4 gigahertz at the top and after that you are ready to use your mouse uh, with your pc so you no need to install any third party softwares or any configuration nothing and there is a bluetooth connection mode also for that just to switch over the key to the bluetooth mode so you can now see this blue light indication so if you get this blue light indication now the mouse enter into the pairing mode and if you're not able to see this blue light or if you can't able to see this mouse the mouse is actually named as bt 5.0 in the bluetooth device list and if you can't able to see means so just to press and hold these three keys at the same time so left key right key and then this scrolling wheel key so just to press and hold all these three keys at the same time for a few seconds and after that you can see the blue light flashes in this led indicator so now this time you can easily able to find the bt 5.0 in all the bluetooth device list i check on the mac pc in the mac studios it works out well in the mac studio also using the bluetooth connection uh, on using this mouse and also i connected this mouse in the android smartphone also i tested on the oneplus phone realme phone in most of the modern android phones this wireless mouse works out really well so you, without touching your android phone you, you can easily use your android phone like you can scroll to the apps you can open the apps you can go to the settings of android phone so overall in connection also it really works out well so it has a dual connection mode whenever you want to connect on the pc so you can connect it using on the 2.4 gigahertz and if you want to connect in other device like laptop or any other devices you can connect that uh, device using the same mouse using bluetooth connection mode so in that way the dual connection is working on this uh, wireless mouse now next uh, moving on to the usage preference i am using this mouse for past one week 
the first thing i feel is that it's very really compact and light in weight so it's easily covers into my palm so it's a very easy to access so that is the first thing i feel and the second thing is that in terms of clicks i didn't face any major issue so if all the left and right clicks works out really good and uh, it has a three different dpi modes i mostly use in the 800 dpi so that is enough for the general computing i mostly work for 8 to 10 hours in a pc so during all this time and during the editing process also i didn't face any lag or any unclicks when i clicking the left button and or right button and even though the scrolling wheel is really good it scrolls out well so the pages will actually move on really good and the cursor movements also good and you can feel the uh, difference between the cursor movements when i change the dpi so if you switch to the 800 dpi the cursor movements will be normal and if you are a gamer means you can switch to 1600 dpi then you can see the faster cursor movements and it's really stable and uh, the click sounds also not that much very louder so as you just hear the click sounds so this is a click sounds it hearable but not that much very louder and it has a smooth clicking on the left and right so overall i not faced any major issues on this wireless mouse in terms of clicks or when using the mouse or the cursor movements so in all these terms i not face any major issues then moving on to the battery it's a wireless mouse firstly it comes with a 400 mAh of battery and during charging the indications are so during charging you can see one by one the light spill actually blinks and after the charging is fully completed so all the four lights will turn off and also there is a low battery indication on this battery indicator if you see the first light is blinks frequently means then the wireless mouse battery has a lower battery once you get the low battery indication after that also you can use for a one hour so based on my usage pattern it works for one hour after i get the low battery indication too so with the help of this battery indicator you can plan for the next charging in advance based on your work schedule and in terms of charging it takes maximum 1.5 hours to complete the full charging from the first indicator to fill up the fourth indicator it takes maximum 1.1.5 hours not more than that surely and for usage hours the usage hours is completely based on your usage preference so let me let's say in my patterns i mostly use 8 to 10 hours of uh, pc usage uh, regularly and for me for 8 to 10 hours it actually gives four complete days and on the fifth day also it actually works but on the fifth day i use for only light usage only so not 8 to 10 hours so if you are a user you are using a, a maximum 8 hours per day means so this wireless mouse gives four complete days so after full charge one more thing is that it has a very good battery management if you not use the mouse for more than one minute then the mouse automatically goes to the sleep mode if you are turned on the rgb lights mean then the rgb lights will be automatically turned off and if you not use for 5 to 15 minutes means then the mouse will automatically turned off so so these are all really good for the battery management this actually helps to reduce the power consumption and extend the overall usage hours overall in this wireless mouse this is my review overall it's a really good one and it's a budget wireless rgb mouse and it's very light in weight and has a good attractive design comes in the different color variants so there is a purple black peach and a white so overall five different color variants available and also in terms of performance it's really good i not able to say any major issues on this wireless mouse and also for this budget it's a really good one to consider so the product link in the description you can check out and if you like this video hit the like and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this video guys